Our guest today has been teaching you how to get your style moving and grooving on YouTube for years, and you can hear her on her hit podcast, Wild Till Nine. Welcome, Lauren Riamaki. Yeah. Yeah. Man, let's talk about this podcast. You and a boyfriend, right? Like, how yeah. long were you guys together before you started doing a podcast? Ooh, ah. I think it was about a year and a half. I feel like it's got to be after a year until you can like get into business together. Yeah, no, no, even that feels sketchy. You yeah, think it's so oh sketchy? man, God, yeah. It's sketchy? You gotta do a podcast no matter what. If you break up, the podcast exists still. Man, I mean, like, how's the show been going with you and him this whole time? Good, it's pretty good. Um, I mean, still together, so that's a good right. sign. Yeah. And you know, we have like lawyers, like you know. Split, oh, like, you, did, you, did like a, you did a podcast prenup? <laughs> That's exactly what it is. Exactly. Like, you got to keep the title. He could keep the old episodes. He gets the equipment. Yeah. <laughs> and the like, equipment. What, what, a, what is uh, each episode usually about? Um, I would say it's about 95% sex. Yeah. And that? then um, the other five is like dating, relationships. Um, okay. And, and then sex, sex is the most important sex. part. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so it's not easy to go into business with a significant other, but you're doing it and doing it well. Everybody in this category is not. Take a look at Couple Trouble. <laughs> I trust these guys. Oh. Over the yes, head. look, this is pure scorpion. Oh, nice. Oh, it's a cheer oh. life. Oh man, <laughs> get there. We're going together. Oh, we oh, oh my god. god. Yeah, I have a feeling they're breaking up. <laughs> there you have it for couple trouble. Okay, let's talk about this YouTube channel. 8.8 .8 million subscribers. Um, <laughs> get into it. Hey, like, when you started it, what did you think was going to happen? Like, when you did, you're just going to do it for fun to show people, like, your passion for sewing and making different clothing items? Well, how did it start? Yeah, 100% just for fun. It was, like, the creative outlet, um, you know, to get me out of a little college depression, probably going into the wrong program. Okay. Um, where, where were you headed? Where was I headed? Yeah. I mean, so I was in Toronto for university, yeah. but uh, I had no direction. I was not headed anywhere. Okay, okay. Yeah, so YouTube ended up being the direction. <laughs> okay, so then how long did it take before it, like, really blew up? I mean, it was definitely, like, an uphill thing for most of the time. I, I never had, like, a viral video. Like, so many YouTubers will have one that, like, really pops off and, like, kind of blasts them into stardom. But it was kind of just, like, an uphill growth the entire time. Okay, well, good for you. Good cool. for you. Uh, this category is dedicated to people trying to take their own take on fashion and make their own look their own way. Take a look at DIYing. My man's Uncle Biz and the slip on Tim's. Okay, the slip on. Yeah. But look, this is with purpose and passion, okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I respect that. I, I don't, I don't. It's not a trend. Let's not start this at all. Moses did not wear Tim's. Let's let it go. I don't hate that. Guys. I'm gonna speak for the black community. We hate it. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna say that's not doing. Hey, I can see you with some open toe too. No, you couldn't. I can't. Don't talk to me like that, okay? <laughs> this is what we need in this day and age. Oh. Oh, my man out here protecting man. for real. Wait, so wait, wait, how's he, it going up? Is he so, pulling it? Look, he's got it tied down. Yeah, but to is it his on his hand, hand or somebody else's? Right? So he zooms and he pulls it down. This should be required for outdoor dining. Yeah, he's in the baby. I like this guy. Yeah. Oh, we'll be right back. We're going to get to this. 